Now, therefore, we, mayor and council members of the city of Stockton, do posthumously commend Willie R Robeson for his historical contribution to the community, the state of California, and the nation as a veteran of the U.S. Army, pioneer, miner, freedom fighter, stagecoach driver, and delivery man as submitted for recognition by Willie Harris, president of the Black Stuntsman Association. And it is signed on the 23rd day of February, 2016, by our mayor, Anthony Silva. Congratulations. Thank you. Just to say a couple of words before I give the microphone over to Willie. Uh, you know, it's really an honor that we have these gentlemen that are sitting here that are joining him today. Uh, as stuntmen that have been stuntmen for various uh, high-profile celebrities in the, in the movie industry. From Harry Bel Belafonte to uh, Jim Brown to... Uh, I don't know who all else was there. You know, now they don't all get up now because they, they got aches and pains from being stuntmen. <laughs> and they, they prefer to sit down. But I think it's an honor and a pleasure that uh, Mayor uh, Silva has, has saw fit to honor them for uh, the work that they have done in the movie industry and being the trailblazers that they are. So my, our hats go off to you and congratulations on your award Thank today. You. We get a group. Sure, we hey, my body is, they body is it's not as bad as mine, so y'all come on with me. <laughs> Christina. So where's your photographer? Where's your photographer at? We'll make sure we get a group. Right over there. Well, want us to scoot back, or you want us to turn around here so we can, let's, let's, let's turn around here, yeah. I don't want to be perfect. I don't have one. You can hold it up, so get your photographer over here. Come on around. Who's camera? Where's the camera? Camera come in. I think oh. they were extra. You guys are tall. I don't want to play you. Yeah, you guys are tall. Okay, I'm sitting down. My name is Willie Harris. Want me to fake this one? That way you're on TV, you know, you're on ESPN. This oh, one. ESPN? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, well, good evening. My name is Willie Harris. I'm the president of the Black Stumpness Association. We started out in 1967. We broke the color barrier in Hollywood. And matter of fact... black stuntman in Hollywood. We all followed him. Well, I started off with our, let's see, uh, let me have the phone. 80 years old now, so. <laughs> Can I help you, Cal? Huh? Can I help you? You don't know the person. Well, I'm going to tell him because you don't want to tell him. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, that's not true. I started off with the uh, same great theater. It was, our, it was an African picture, and they had no blacks in the business that could do stunts. So the director said, I need someone to fall out of this tree. I had been falling out of the tree in Louisiana free. And before he said dollar, I was up the tree. So he said, we got around if you need a black guy to do the stunt, call Calvin Brown. <laughs> and so that's how I got started. And then, luckily, along comes a guy named Bill Cosby, and I spy. Uh, the first they had a white guy to double him on the first pilot, and uh, Bill told Sheldon Leonard, who was a producer, I would not have this anymore. 
I got, it has to be someone here that could do stunts for me. And I was working on Goldman Powell on the same lot. And Sheldon also was the producer of Goldman Powell. He said, there's a guy back there that looked like Bill Cosby. Bring him down front. And, and after that, all of his history. They were looking for us to fail, but we fooled them. They wanted Cosby to fail as, a, as an actor, as the first black actor on a serious TV series, and me as a stuntman. But we fooled them, so we're here. You know, we could be up here all day, and you could have your own uh, city council meeting with the stories we have to tell here, because uh, some of the stories are so long and go such a, a long ways back, like uh, we did uh, Roots, uh, Color Purple. Wow. Uh, in fact, uh, again, my name is Alex Brown. I was the one that doubled Hoppo. Oh, okay. And, uh, <laughs> and I, was, I was hired by this stunt coordinator over my shoulder. I thought they were going to kill me on the job because I had fallen through that roof so many times. But yeah. this guy, uh, Greg Elam, who's uh, got an extensive resume. I won't start with mine, but I'll let him give you a little. He was a stunt coordinator on Roots and uh, other things, so I'll let, let him uh, say what he's got to say, just to get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Greg Elam. I started in the business in 1954. My first feature film was with Elvis Presley, a movie called Loving You. I was seven years old. Um, I started in stunts in 1969. Uh, yeah, it was a great year. Uh, 1969, I started in stunts. And from there, I doubled people like uh, Michael Jackson, uh, Richard Pryor, uh, you name it. I did uh, nine years on the uh, Walker, Texas Ranger. I helped develop that show. Uh, uh, gosh, it's, it's hard when you're trying to, I've done about four, four or 500 different projects, so I've been very, very fortunate. I'm a member of the Director's Guild. I'm a producer and um, a writer, so I want to pass it on. Sorry, I, have, uh, I have three sons that are top stuntmen in, in the world right now. I um, started, I guess, in 1969, and I doubled Harry Belafonte in all his shows, and I did maybe 140 shows throughout my career of 18 years. Wow. All right. I rode with the 10th Cavalry Buffalo Soldiers and and uh, and the Black Stutzman. I double um, Moses Gun and uh, Scream Black the Screen. I was a vampire. I got killed there. So I did a few things around about. <laughs> My name is uh, William J. Upton. I've been in the so I'm the youngest Black Stuntman in the business. I was 13 when I first got into the business. Uh, in 67, uh, I dealt with individuals from Billy D. Williams to, uh, I have to say, but he's not here, he's in jail, uh, uh, O.J. Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I've also doubled ladies, they put me in dresses because I was skinny as 13 year old, so I could dress like a lady. I don't take anything. We have stunt women in this business, and I want to say if it hadn't been for Eddie Smith, who founded this organization, we all wouldn't be here today. Uh, <laughs> And for Willie Harris, who has brought the torch with everybody, from Cal Brown to Willie Harris to Alex Brown to Greg Elam to Doug to uh, my, my boy Joe Tilf and Henry Grady, thank you very much. I would like to say <clears throat> thanks to the city of Stockton, thanks to the city council, and thanks to Wells Fargo for getting us here. Oh, we would like to return next year. And further about me, I did the first dirty hammer with Clean Eastwood. I doubled the bank robber who got shot out of the bank. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't rob the bank. I don't have any money neither. But like I said, thank you all very much for inviting us here. And we'll come back next year. M Mayor, Mayor, can they say something about the guy in the picture more? The Mr. Robeson, <clears throat> I bank with Wells Fargo. 
I walked in the bank about five, six years ago, <clears throat> and I saw this picture. And I asked the bank president, who is this man? And they told me he was William Roberson, and I said, what did he do? So he worked for Wells Fargo for 40 years. And if I needed to find out anything else, get in touch with Wells Fargo. So I did. <clears throat> I come to find out, not only did he drive stage for Wells Fargo, he lived in Stockton. Huh. He was a member of what, the San Juan. Uh, 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 but I know he Buffett. helped fight discrimination in Stockton. He was not only a pioneer and a hero to the black race, but also to everybody that lived here. So I started to push in Wells Fargo about having a day for him or do a commercial with a black stagecoach driver. Now, all of y'all have seen Wells Fargo commercials, right? Yes. You've seen the stagecoach, right? Right. Yes. Have you seen the black driver? <laughs> this is the thing, what I would like to say to the city council. Can you help us? to get Wells Fargo to do a commercial with this man. Have any of y'all ever heard of George Monroe? No. George Monroe drove stage for Wells Fargo. He drove a six-up. He drove President Grant through Yosemite. Matter of fact, he got killed on a stagecoach. So that's two men. But the black stuntmans can't do it themselves. And like I said, Mr. Robeson was a citizen of this community. And if I could get the help, if we could get the help from the city council and the city of Stockton to help change things, how can black kids today know who was Mr. Robeson and who was Monroe? If you put it out there on TV, you'll know. And anything that y'all want to know about us, you can look us up on the Black Stuntmen's Association .com. Mr. Monroe was not killed driving the stagecoach. He was a passenger. Oh, that's right. He was. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, thank y'all very much, and we are depending on your help. Thank you, Stockton. Can you give him a round of applause? Thank you for bringing this history to our city. Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you.